Leaf Bunny and Dark Wind. So attack with these guys. Yeah, so any repeat encounters, I will just cut them out. There's no point sh uh, showcasing you every single fight that I do because some parts of this game, the encounter rate is freaking ridiculous. We're going in the desert. Oh, look who it is. It's a castle. Figaro Castle. Halt. Oh, it's you. Proceed. And the epic Figaro Castle music is playing. I was wondering when I was going to kick in. I thought that was a music glitch. Yeah, we need to go straight ahead and meet another worthwhile character. Someone you won't be forgetting in an instant anyway. In fact, this character is one of my favourites in this game, to be fair. Oh. You mean this young woman is... Who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady on, a, on our very first meeting. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally <clears throat> and champion of the technological revolution. Edgar. Now, this is one of the few names you actually do get to keep, both in original Japanese and English, so Edgar it is. I am Edgar, the King of Figaro. Heh, <laughs> surprised that someone like me knows a king? <laughs> well, I'll catch you two later. So, you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here for as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. <laughs> I guess your abilities would rank a distant third. Tina's just like, huh? What's the matter? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Hmm. I suppose a normal girl would have felt something from those words. But not me. Hmm. You've been a slave to the Empire for so long, maybe um, you don't know how to register emotions yet. But yes, we are free to um, rest up here. Oh, I need to freaking remember where it is I need to go to rest. I know these two places here, you can buy stuff, I like shops, but I'll wait a bit later for that. Right now, I just want to go and um, heal up. This is a library. Scholars all over the world are studying magic, but you can only learn so much about something without seeing it. Basically, you need to witness it before you actually believe something. The ancients once wielded a force known as magic. Those who mastered the art were called magi. Okay, bit of lore, bit of backstory there. Down here. I know where you can go and sleep is down one of these places. It's not in there. That's the lead out. That's the lead out outside. Uh, do, 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 do. Actually, while I'm here, I think the bedchamber's just up there. I will actually go into these rooms just to do a bit of exploration. Because if you chat to um, 
someone in one of these towers. You get a bit of information. Yes, here. A bit of information about our beloved King Edgar. High Priestess. Edgar has a twin brother, you know. He was such a nice boy. Always thinking of his family. Gonna get a backstory? Yep, we're gonna get a backstory. Edgar, what's wrong with Dad? Why is everyone talking about a successor? Are you blind? Haven't you seen how thin his face has become? What do you mean? Edgar! Are you... crying? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Yeah, this is Sabin, or Sabin, but uh, according to the original Japanese uh, version, his actual name is... I can actually find the frickin' letters. There we go. Is Mash. Ah, yes. Mash. I'm sure he's a fine young man by now. He was just a boy when he left. Even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now. And what he's doing. Yes, yeah, so, um, um, Edgar's twin brother, Mash, departed some time ago. Maybe we'll see him again sometime. In fact, while I'm here, let's talk to this young girl. His Highness said he'd marry me when I got old enough. Did he now? Okay. And if my voice went any higher than that, I think I would have broken a few, um, um, veins in my neck. The Castalian Empire has already overthrown all three of the other nations on the southern continent. It's only a matter of time before they make their way up here. Ah, oh, okay, so... Yes, the world... The world of balance, as it's known as, is split up into two main continents. You've got the much bigger continent of the north, in which we are currently on, and you've got the smaller continent down, down south. And it's the southern continent as made up of four countries. One of them being the Castalian Empire. And the Castalian Empire has overthrown the other three countries on the southern continent. Well, they should have freaking stood up to them more, shouldn't they? Well, we'll later on find out um, the real reasons. Well, not real reasons, but... You know what I mean. You'll find out how and why they overthrow them so quickly. Rest for a bit? Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's talk to these two lovely uh, chambermaids. Our king showers his attention on women. Young, old, pretty, or plain. No one is safe. Ah, so he's a womanizer. Yes, Edgar King our beloved King Edgar loves the ladies. He will flirt with every single woman that comes in his presence. Not too long ago, the king tried to hit on the high priestess. Oh, did she ever let him have it? I'm sure he's made a pass or two at you already, hasn't he? Tina's just like, uh, possibly. Should I be worried? <laughs> yes, be worried, Tina. So, now, uh, do, 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 let's go down here. Let's finally go down these steps. Because there's a Western Tower. Now, is it? 
Uh, we are currently walking at this speed because later on we're able to get an item that makes us walk fast, but until then we're just going to have to put up with it. Uh oh, no, come here. That's it. Talk to this guy. The advanced weapons and other items we manufacture here are shipped to South Figaro. Cool. So you have a... But you basically trade with yourself because South Figaro is just... Uh, the town under the uh, the kingship of Figaro Castle. So you only trade with yourself. I suppose if you're self-sufficient, I suppose. It could work. Don't forget your your, your uh, training partners. They could help you out when um, when the economy is struck hard. It could be sounding all political, like I know something. I don't, I'm just making up bullshit as I go along. Let's talk to this guy. The king's brother was so disgusted by the succession that he fled the castle, never looking back. I've, I've heard tell that the entire matter was settled by the flip of a coin. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Basically, they decided on the throne by flipping a coin, okay. That's one way of doing it, I suppose. I heard the Castalian Empire got its hands on something called magic. They, they got their hands on something more than that, I think. Now that Castal has the power of Magitek at his command, he's set his sights on world domination. Yes, he has, and I just realised there's two doors there on the side. Up here. We have a chest. Phoenix down. Nice. here. Nope. Apart from one lousy phoenix down. So now, let's go and see the king. He should be back in the throne room. Yes, he is. Well, how do you like my castle? King Edgar, there's someone from the Empire here to see you, sire. Kefka, no doubts. Hooey! Emperor Gestal's stupid orders! Edgar, you pinhead! Why do you have to live out in the middle of a stinking desert? These recon jobs are the pits! <coughs> There's sand on my boots! All gone, sir. That laugh, man. How pathetic! Sir Kefka, what in the world brings you out of my way? Okay, we're controlling King Edgar. I was just thinking, wait a minute, why are we standing still all of a sudden? I hear you've been busy down south, taking over a country or three. Just what is the Empire up to? That's none of your concern. You wouldn't be... Th oh, yes, yes, Edgar. You wouldn't be thinking of invading my kingdom next, would you? We have an alliance. An alliance? With this miserable little sandpit? Don't make me laugh. What brings Emperor Castile's own court mage, Kefka, to my humble castle? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. This wouldn't have to do with that witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. There are more girls in here than grains of sand in the deserts. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. Oh, Edgar! You know you only stand to lose by trying to hide her from us. 
<laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. Oh shit, that does not sound good at all. We need to, um, yeah. Oh look, Locke's there. Where the freaking hell have you been, man? I didn't like the sound of that. Where's Tina? There she is. Take her to her room. I'd love to stay in chat. The Chancellor and I need to do some planning now. Being a king's not all tea and crumpets, if you'll excuse me. Now I'm hungry. Thank you, Edgar. Follow me. Okay, we are going over here. Uh, wait, Locke, wait up. She's only got little legs, bless her heart. Come on. And down here we go. Now we come over here. Our lock should be just inside. He ain't. I want to know why. There he is. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you around like this without giving you a chance to rest. Um, lock, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? I'm a treasure hunter. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. Truth is, he's collaborating with an underground resistance group called the Returners. I serve as their go-between. The old man you met in Nash is one of us too. The Empire? But I'm an Imperial soldier. Not anymore. They were using you. That's all. Things are different now. It's just... I don't know what I should do. Whenever I try to think, it just makes my head hurt even worse. All that matters is that you make your own decisions from now on. You don't have to think too hard right now. You'll know what you want to do when the time comes. Okay. But how will I know which choice is right? You don't. That's why you make a choice, you stick by that choice. Only you will know if you've made the right choice or not. I don't like the sound of this. What in the... Holy shit, the castle's on fire. What's going on? It's the Empire. Kefka, he... What do you think you're doing? Bring me the girl now! I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh? Then, enjoy the barbecue! <laughs> oh, Kefka, you evil bastard. You evil, wicked son of a bitch. Get her ready. Yes, sire. Had a change of heart? It seems I have no choice. Or perhaps I do. Oh my, the brave and noble king abandons his people to save his own skin. How utterly delightful. <laughs> Jump. Riding on chocobos. All right, sink her into the sand. Watch this. Yahoo! Uh, Kefka, you might want to 
Yeah, actually, no, just stay there so you get buried as well for, for good. Agaro dive mode activated. Witness the glory of Figaro. Yeah, the castle can actually sink underground. To hide from her enemies. Go! Kill them! How the hell are they able to catch up with freaking chocobos? They can't be that fast, surely. Right, still from them. Ooh, tools, yes, auto crossbow. And let's attack. Let's try and steal again. Crossbow again. Oh, lock is out for the count. Damn it. There we go. Obtain high potion. Bravo, Figaro! Son of a sandworm! You pay for this! Um, you need to catch up with us first. That was great! Were those bad people? I'm scared. Tina, there's someone we'd like you to meet. Like, I told you before, we're members of the Returners. Would you be willing to meet our leader? Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic? That Esper reacted to your magical powers. There's got to be a relationship. I don't know any more than you do. These powers just come naturally to me. But no human is born with the powers you have. I will explain something in a minute, but I'll wait until this bit is finished with. Forgive me. What should I do? The Empire will be, will be coming after us. They want your powers for their own. And if they get them, the world is done for. Tina, you want to understand your own powers, don't you? Then I think you should meet with Banon. He may be able to help you find out more about why you have them. Please, Edgar's right. There's a cave just south of here that leads to South Figaro. Let's head in that direction. Yes, let's head in that direction. The South Figaro. Now, during that little fight with the two Magitek armors, had you got Terra, Terra or Tina, or whatever you want to call her, um, to cast magic, there would have been an extra little bit of dialogue mid-fight between Edgar and um, Locke. Which was actually hilarious. Normally, I would get um, her to cast fire on the Magitek and it would trigger it. But I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that um, what I want to do is I just want to do a fight because normally, like I said, during that fight with the two Magitek troops, you get um, Tina to cast magic and activate a um, bit of dialogue. But um, I want to activate the dialogue here. It, it, it is quite alert. If if we can't, then then un unfortunately we've missed the opportunity. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's the matter, Edgar? What made you jump like that all of a sudden? D did you just see what I saw? You did, right? Right? Yeah, this kid's really something, huh? Really? Something? That was magic. Ma-jick. Ma, 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 ma. Magic? She used magic? 
Er det gør lokker. Hvis på, hvis på, hvis på, hvis på. Tina. Your name was Tina, right? What? What exactly was that just now? I'm sorry, I... No, we should be apologizing. I didn't mean to make such a big deal out of it. Nor did I. It just... surprised me. I mean, I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... It doesn't matter, does it, Edgar? Tina can use magic and we can't. That's all there is to it. The fact is... Her magic could really help us right now. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Edgar. And they just laugh it off. Ha! But it's done anyway. Now, in the context of making things sense, that bit of dialogue would have worked better against the magic uh, during the Magitek fight before they had that conversation on the chocobos. It would have worked a hell of a lot better, but I completely forgot to get uh, Tina to cast fire. So anyway, I am going to quickly save here, guys, on the world map, and then we shall progress uh, towards Salfagaro.